Rob, where's the, uh, someone's Okay. My name's, yes. I will be uh, having Rob uh, move my slides ahead. Thank you, Rob. My name is Jason Kristoff. My presentation today will be weaponized psychology and propaganda during the COVID operation. Please move ahead, Rob. The first psychological weapon used against the public during COVID was confusion. Next slide. Confusing a targeted audience is one of the necessary ingredients for effective mind control. This from Dr. Yus Merlu. He was a behavioral modification expert. Confusion sets the subconscious into believing it lacks clarity, believing itself unable to make logical decisions. Therefore, our neurological system finds it safer to outsource personal authority and decision making to external third parties when confused. Next slide. As you can see in this diagram, destructive interference, opposing beliefs cancel each other out energetically, causing a flat line and a cessation of thought. That means if you're in the ruling group and you can confuse the group you're ruling, you can stop them from thinking and then you will be able to manhandle them psychologically at will. Next slide. This is confusion examples launched at the public during COVID. Gyms were closed during a, a declared health emergencies. Yet, liquor stores, fast food restaurants, weed shops in Canada, and junk food corner stores were open for business. You weren't permitted to bring your own grocery bags from home to the grocery store. Yet, you were permitted to wear your clothes to the grocery store, which also came from home. Next slide. You had to enter a restaurant standing wearing a mask, yet when you sat down, you could take the same mask off and then the mask back on when using the toilet. Doug Ford's medical advisor, Dr. Yaffe in Ontario, Canada, declared that testing teachers daily for COVID wasn't being done because the test is unreliable 50% or more of the time, uh, yet the same testing was deemed mandatory and essential by the same government for many other sectors. Were you confused? Of course you were because that was the design intent. Dr. Fauci proudly declaring at the beginning of the pandemic, no masks were necessary, then one mask, then two, then none if you complied, then all back on regardless of your vaccine status, then magically masks did not matter. Big box stores all open, local businesses closed, vaccines were declared safe and effective, but vaccine makers insisted that they hold no li legal liability or death or injury from those safe and effective vaccines. News anchors parroted key phrases like trust the science, if the science to be trusted was never displayed, and anyone asking to verify the science was attacked and told they were anti-science. Pfizer even petitioned the US government to hide their vaccine safety data for 75 years. Nothing says safe and effective more than hiding your own safety data for more than seven decades. If someone died or was injured within 14 days of taking any COVID injection, that death or injury was listed as occurring in the unvaccinated. All that while VAERS data indicated that the vast majority of deaths and permanent injuries occurred within 72 hours of the COVID injection, and that would be deaths and injuries in the unvaccinated. Some strip joints were providing free lap dances if patrons submitted to the COVID jab while churches were forced to close. Curfews and group restrictions were frequent because of course the virus can now count attacking you in a group of 11, but not in a group of nine. It also wears a watch attacking at 10.01 PM in the curfew zone, but at not at 9.59. Elected officials deferred to non-elected experts bypassing the very foundations of our democracy. Were you confused? Of course you were. That was the designed intent. We regressed into taxation without representation. Experts were unwilling to discuss and debate what they claim expertise in. Many doctors, judges, police, military, lawyers, pharmacists, and pharmacists violated their patient citizen 
protection oaths because of large payouts to do so. Multi-gender programming erupted, plus men started to dominate female sports and female safe areas. When you're going to weaponize confusion against the public, you pile it high and wide. Vows made to protect grandma were widespread as grandma was being mistreated, disrespected, abused, and even medically euthanized. Measures said to... Go ahead, Rob. Measures said to protect lives obviously destroyed lives, communities, and our collective humanity. Local businesses in Ontario, Canada were eventually made bankrupt and closed via the, wait for it, reopening Ontario Act. A very clever use of Orwellian doublespeak, an aerosolized viral pathogen that could take people down at will like a well-perched assassin could only be tested for by driving a swab deep into the nasal cavity if the extremely dangerous pathogen floats in the air, why can't we breathe on the swab? Well, that's because confusing a targeted audience is one of the necessary ingredients for effective mind control. Psychological weapon number two hurled at the public during the COVID operation was group pressure. If we understand the mechanism and motives of the group mind, is it not possible to control and regiment the masses according to our will without them knowing it. This is from Edward Bernays, otherwise known as the father of propaganda. Human pressure to fit into the herd is genetic, a safety mechanism which operates outside our control, much like how a cut heals itself. We're designed to seek safety in the bigger group. We're designed to feel afraid and vulnerable when we believe we're in the smaller group. We seek safety first, not happiness, nor logic, nor rational analysis of our problems. This is Justin Trudeau's famous small fringe minority speech. If we look at it, at it together, we can look for the weaponized group pressure psychology hurled at the public. Let's read it together. It's important to underline that close to 90% of truckers in this country are vaccinated, like close to 90% of Canadians. Canadians have stepped up to protect each other, our frontline workers, to protect our elders, to protect our youth. And the overwhelming majority, close to 90%, have done exactly that, got vaccinated. The small, fringe, minority who are holding unacceptable views do not represent the views of Canadians who know that following the signs and stepping up to protect each other is the best way to ensure our freedoms, our rights, and our, vows, our values. This is a clear indication of where the safe majority can be found and a clear indication of where the unsafe minority can be found. The human nervous system takes it from there. And as you can see, there's also confusion as this man laments to be protecting our freedoms, our rights, and our values, values as he destroys our freedoms, our rights, and our values. Other weaponized psychology used against the public during the COVID operation, fear, guilt, shame, disempowering repetitive content, psychological priming, flooding the zone with utter liaria, abuses of power, demoralization, destabilization, paycheck mind control, bullying, psychic terrorism, isolation, and poisoning, just to name a few. Let's end today with three quotes. If we know how the, magi the magician executes his tricks, the magic show fails to impress. This is why it's very important each and every one of you learn about psychological manipulation so we can sidestep the next psyop that comes our way. You can't farm lions, only lambs, and all this psychological manipulation is designed to make the once powerful human lion a very easily ruled and easily farmed human lamb. Evil spares no one and uses everyone. This is a message to the people under paycheck mind control who are selling our souls to the highest bidder. When you become surplus to requirement, you will be wiped off the chessboard as quick as you were put on it. Mark my words. Ending remarks. It is time we all lead with morality and ethics once again. It's time each person dedicate on a personal level to the founding principles of our great nations. I have a dream, a dream to see justice, morality, and ethics fly high over all our lands once again.
It is time to level up, adult up, power up, and lion up. The great lion in all of us sleeps no more. I believe in each and every one of you. It's time we all bring the light back. We will make the world great again by making ourselves great again. Be brave, lead, take action, fear nothing, and let your line be heard. Pay very close attention today to the work of Dr. Merrill Nass. This fight is for all the marbles. Lion up and remember your roar. My name is Jason Kristoff. Thank you for listening.